Hello, it's James Photography, and I'm going to do another video on criticism. So it's like the second one, really. Now, I did one a couple of years ago, and forgive the thumbnail on it. I was trying to go all moody. It's a black and white picture of me looking all concerned. <laughs> so a bit over the top there, but I was new to YouTube then. And this is um, a second video on that, really, because uh, what I say in that video, I still stand by um, about the critics that you get with social media, like on YouTube on Instagram, anything. So just a brief recap on that video. I sort of say that you're gonna get criticism, but there's two types. There's the positive criticism and there's the negative criticism. So the positive one is great. Um, you get advice from people that are more experienced than you on something. So if you're creative in any way, or if you wanna put anything out on social media to promote your business or to promote your passion, whatever it is, it can be literally anything. It could be a physical thing, it could be a creative thing could be a business thing, but it's that bold step of getting it out there like YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn, whatever you're, however you promote something new that you're doing, you're gonna get critics. You're gonna get people that you know, friends and family even, you're gonna get strangers leaving comments because that's how social media works, doesn't it? And you're gonna get criticism. Now the good kind is the one from people that are more experienced than you and they will give you advice um, and they will perhaps pull you up on a few things they may have noticed, saying, why don't you try this? I remember when I did it myself, this worked better. That's really good constructive criticism and that's the one to take on board. So put your ego aside and let others teach you that are more experienced than you. Then you get your negative criticism, like the, the bad ones, which is gonna happen. It's part and parcel. People leave comments, really, really nasty comments sometimes and they just try to tear to shreds something that you've done, whatever it is. It can be anything. Mine was photography. It could be craft work. It could be setting up a business. It could be going for a hike. It could be anything at all, but people will tear into it. Now, in that video, and that's what this video is about, there was a formula that I applied. It was from another video that I saw um, before um, on trolls. It was by a photographer called Sean Tucker, who did a video on trolls. Now, he made like a formula. He said, when people leave nasty comments, here's a tip. A, don't retaliate, but look on their channel or their account and nine times out of 10, if not all the times out of 10, they won't have contributed anything. They just leave nasty comments, like really nasty and try to tear other people down. So that's the formula. They don't contribute anything. They just want to tear down. Now that video I did on criticism with a stupid thumbnail um, was two years ago, or it says two years ago on my um, thing anyway, I don't know the exact date. And I've been on YouTube doing very scrappy, unprofessional videos for about three years, um, just here and there. I don't really take it that seriously. Now that formula of look at their, what they create themselves has stood true. It really has. I've had some brutal comments on YouTube, absolutely savage comments from people, borderline nasty. Well, not borderline, very nasty. Now, that's not to say you're going to get constant bad comments. So out of, say, 20, 30 really nice comments or grateful comments, because um, that's the whole point of what I did YouTube for and many others is just to help people like this is what I've learned this is what I know about this product so I hope it helps you so you get the grateful ones and I'm, that's all it's about and it's really nice but I'll say 20 odd good comments you're gonna get one idiot one nasty one um, and then since that time I've applied that formula every time someone leaves a nasty comment I look at their channel and they've contributed nothing absolutely nothing and every now and then on another social media platform you'll get a horrible comment look at them what have they created what have they shared what have they tried to influence to other people and in my experience is absolutely nothing nothing at all and even further than that i've applied that formula to other things as well so it's not just social media i've met other photographers that's the thing that i put out there photography i've got my own website i've got my own business i've got my own photos to showcase my work and what i've done and i've met other photographers and they've been in it a lot longer than me and they've done you know travel with photography they've done higher end celebrities and all that stuff which is what they straight away like to tell you oh i've done this and i've done that 
and they've torn me to shreds like I'm the new boy like oh you boys you don't remember film and all that business like which I don't I never shot in film at all um I just haven't um and then when I, <laughs> they sort of say oh well I'm this that and the other I've been nosy and I've looked on their work and some of it is like you are kidding me right not that I want to berate other people's photography because then, then I'll turn into one of them but it's just the way they elevate themselves to such a superior level their work has been quite shocking oh shocks like really you, you <laughs> dear oh dear like you know so even that level but the formula on YouTube honestly it's worked it's like a magic formula so every time I've had a nasty comment real horrible I've looked at theirs they've contributed nothing so just to let you know if you're gonna get out there and promote something a lot of people have been doing a lot more of that lately because of the lockdown so they're like they've got more time on their hands so now's the time to do a blog a podcast a YouTube video Instagram Instagram stories all of that stuff where you can help other people in something that you know about um, it can be literally anything but sometimes I think I think I said this in the first video people can be held back because they're they're worried about what other people can think so someone can have an absolutely amazing talent and no one will know about it um, and if you have if you're really good at something or if you've learned about things and you don't want other people to make the same mistakes you have or perhaps buy a bad product or a not applicable product and you've learned the hard way share that with other people share it because then you'll help and that's what the whole thing's about isn't it the whole community I don't some people have got very very famous out of YouTube I don't think that's what this is for or other social media sites yes it can generate you more work and perhaps sponsorships and getting free things sent to you and all that that's great but I think the biggest thing is if you can help someone if you can inspire someone last couple of years I've got into hiking a lot I've really treated it seriously and as soon as this lockdown's over I'm really gonna go off on some big hikes um, I bought some pretty good gear because I started off buying rubbish gear and I've sort of progressed into some lightweight really durable well-made gear which makes such a big difference to make your hike a lot more comfortable and I've watched so many hiking videos of people that have absolutely inspired me to get out there and do it now if you think about hiking what are you selling to people what are you trying to what skill is that it's not it's just walking it's just walking but they give their tips and advice on long walks and treks and bad weather and equipment but at the end of the day it's just walking but their videos have inspired me and many many others to get out there and give it a go so whatever you've got to contribute you can inspire people no matter what it is whether it's baking a cake woodwork painting a picture how to play an instrument absolutely anything if you can inspire other people to do the same that's an amazing thing and don't be withheld don't hold back because you're worried about what other people are going to say even friends and family at times so to all the critics out there if you've left a nasty comment on someone's YouTube and you haven't contributed yourself anything if all you do is sit there and nitpick other people's uh, stuff all their creativity what they've had the guts to put out there and showcase and try and help other people or promote a new business which is a really really bold thing to do if you're one of those people that have left a nasty comment just just think why you left it I guarantee you're one of those people that when someone's done well at something or perhaps they've got a new car or got something new or something's been done that they've created whether it's a photograph a video a craft work whatever a painting the majority of people will look at that and go oh that's really good well done that's that's really good Do you know what I, will, I wouldn't mind having a go at that are you one of those people that instead of looking at the good side of it you're nitpicking you're analyzing and all you're trying to do is find fault is that all you're trying to do is find fault with people's work so let's say if photography for instance what I do someone can take an amazing image even on their phone that really captures the atmosphere and yet instead of looking at what the pictures portraying you're looking at the details all oh, the lights not quite right all oh, there you got the off white balance a little bit mm, and all this business is that all you do you just want to nitpick and tear other people down so why are you doing that why are you tearing other people down and you haven't contributed anything yourself so just ask yourself that before you leave a nasty comment I don't care I've got really thick skin I really really don't care but some people are quite nervous 
they're really scared about putting out there what they're doing. And if all you want to do is tear down that work, I'd say that you're the insecure one. You're the one that's jealous of other people that are, have got a skill that you haven't got or got something that they've earned and uh, that they deserve because you haven't got. So if you're one of those critics, just ask yourself before you leave that nasty comment, why are you leaving it? What are you hoping to achieve out of it? And how does it make you feel? If, it thinks, if you think it makes you feel a little bit more elevated above other people, then you're the insecure one. So, sorry, a bit of a rant there. <laughs> Fire away all you critics at me. I really don't care. I really don't. But just ask yourself why you're leaving those comments to many other people. All right? Um... But if you are one of those people that want to put something out there on social media, um, I've got a friend recently who's he's done so well at losing weight. He had, you know, he had his issues with weight and he's worked so hard at losing weight and he started putting out social media stuff about losing weight and it's to help other people. Now he's probably going to get torn to shreds by all the nasty critics out there, really are, but fair play to him, fair play to him. And there are other people, I know someone else who's done craft work and they're doing really, really well, but they're going to get the comments just... It's part and parcel, whatever you do and put out there, whatever you put out there that's creative and you wanna share and inspire, you're gonna get those idiots, you're gonna get those nasty critics. But remember the formula that look at their channel, look at their account and see what they've contributed to other people. To see, have they inspired anyone else to do something better or to get out there or go for your passion? In my case, not one, not one horrible comment, their account has done anything. So the formula absolutely works and it, that's been going on for three years now on YouTube. It absolutely works. So don't hold back. Don't care about what the critics say. Take on board the constructive criticism. I've had to, sometimes it's a hard pill to swallow when someone pulls you up and say, look, I'm pulling you up on this because you're making a massive mistake, but this will help you better because I did the same, all right? Take that on board. But the nasty ones, just remember, they're the insecure ones, not you. So you just get out there and share and influence, share your passion, and you never know who's that, who that is going to help in the long run. So I hope you do. And uh, sorry, I've had a bit of a rant there as well. <laughs> but um, thanks for watching. <coughs>